Owners of Merrimack Station are closing the chapter on fossil fuels. Instead, they plan to transform this space and another coal-fired power plant on the seacoast into a hub for renewable energy. Merrimack and Schiller stations have mostly remained quiet in recent years. Both coal-fired power plants were once cornerstones of energy infrastructure in New Hampshire, but are now only called on when demand reaches its peak during extreme temperatures. These plants have been sort of vital resources for the last several years. Um, of providing, as I've always said, sort of uh, power on the warmest days and coldest nights of New Hampshire. James Andrews is CEO of Granite Shores Power, the company agreeing to voluntarily retire both sites and forge a new future. Merrimack's nearly 400 acres will be developed into a clean energy center, while Schiller is converted into a large-scale battery center able to store power generated in growing offshore wind projects. It's a testament to these facilities and where they're located in terms of the critical infrastructure of being sites that are going to constantly evolve and, and bring value to the community as we move forward. Environmental groups applauding the move, telling News 9 the closure of the last remaining coal plants in New England signals a new era in the development of renewable energy infrastructure. Coal fired power is uh, the dirtiest form of energy that we have. Um, if we are going to solve the climate crisis, uh, we really need to get off the dirtiest forms of energy. Schiller will officially close its doors next year, with Merrimack staying online until 2028. In Bo, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.